A good Thursday morning to you. This weather video is driven by 802cars.com, representing 802 Toyota, Twin City, Subaru, and 802 Honda, all located off of Exit 7 on Interstate 89. Well, a couple things to look at here. This is the absolute leftovers of what had been uh, post-tropical storm Hermine. It had been spinning around and lollygagging, occasionally sweeping clouds into our region, roughly about the uh, Green Mountains and points east. And we got one of those swirls right now, but this is coming to its uh, death here. It's going to be ending up somewhere around Cape Cod. Instead, we have a frontal system shown here by the ra latest radar. And uh, this is going to bring us some shower and thunderstorm activity. There's been a couple shots of uh, precipitation running across northern parts of New York that have died out. This is forecast and modeled well. However, by around 3 o'clock or so, we're going to start to see showers and thunderstorms. These thunderstorms mostly embedded, but one or two could be marginally strong, get into the northern Champlain Valley, I think. The western portions of Vermont counties will be most susceptible this afternoon into the early evening hours, while most of the thunderstorm activity has a general uh, sense here that things are going to die out once they go east to the Green Mountains and encounter slightly more stable conditions. Instability doesn't seem to be uh, that uh, big a deal uh, with this particular setup here. Uh, but winds aloft up around 25, maybe 30 knots that do get into the northwestern corner of the state. And uh, so these areas around northern Champlain Valley probably under the gun the most. And a sub-alert will be issued more than likely a little, little bit later on uh, toward midday or early on this afternoon. Look at that seven-day total accumulated precipitation. You can see a streak. This is part and parcel coming in from uh, the ex-hurricane tropical storm that's moved across northern Mexico. And... Uh, Kind of uh, some of that moisture making it all the way up and just a little to the north and west. These are two-inch amounts, one-inch amounts, uh, half-inch, and let's see, the green is half-inch. So these are one-inch amounts here. We're talking about a quarter of an inch further off to the south and east. Again, this is total for the next seven days. So this is our weather front. You can see that's off to the north and west of us. Uh, barely gets in here. This is about uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon. So after about 2.30, 3 o'clock, we're looking at some uh, rain showers and embedded thunderstorms work on through. Uh, again, nothing of any great shakes in terms of precipitation amounts, but uh, with high precipitable water near 2 inches, one or two of these could produce some heavy rainfall. Best chances, I think, again, the Champlain Valley. Now, this uh, moisture does get out of here by Friday morning and just a couple leftover sprinkles. Then things dry on out. We have high pressure. It's a nice little bubble that builds in. And uh, this is valid about 8 o'clock uh, Saturday morning. And then we have our next setup here as uh, some moisture scoots in out ahead of this particular weather system. A little bit more potent. And this is almost like a warm frontal boundary here. So it gets it just to the northwest of uh, Corner of Vermont. Uh, roughly by, uh, that's by 8 o'clock on uh, Saturday evening. It's mostly going to be a Saturday evening event. You can see just a little bit more moisture. That works on through. This is valid... Uh, six hours prior to eight o'clock in the morning on Sunday and then boop, most of it uh, dries out pretty quickly this is the best weather Sunday afternoon Sunday evening Sunday night into Monday as well as Tuesday as we have higher pressure and then our next frontal system we'll have to watch here uh, this will be moving in along about uh, that'd be about two o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday and uh, I'm not seeing any issues in the tropics um, there's a couple weather systems to watch but it does look like uh, the European model, anyway, is not picking up on any of that and feeling a little bit more confident that there's really no threats to land during this period in time. Quickly checking temperatures. Once again, cooler than normal weather out west in the uh, northern Rockies and Plains states. You get into the Great Lakes, things warm up east of the Great Lakes. And you can see running about 6 degrees above normal weighted. These are the next five days uh, high temperatures. What about three days later? It's like very similar conditions, three to six degrees above normal. Some of the cooler weather has made it into a good portion of the west. We have a trough of low pressure here and a ridge of higher pressure here. And hence, that looks to be uh, probably most prevalent, almost a default position for much of uh, this autumn. Going quickly back to precipitation, this is the uh, uh, Canadian and uh, GFS ensemble model. You can see precipitation coming in today. This is a little healthier shot. Uh, one inch amounts here, but uh, looks like eh, probably something like six tenths of an inch, according to the GFS uh, ensemble. 
And then uh, looks like Wednesday's precipitation. A lot of uh, agreement between the European and the GFS usually means things are pretty solid and confidence is relatively high. Here's a look at temperatures. Pretty warm today around 85, maybe even making a run toward 90 in a few spots. Uh, north, the uh, southern Champlain Valley has one of the candidates there. A pretty warm night tonight, very sultry, and this is when the storms move on through. And then tomorrow we top out near 80, and then a nice little cool down. Feels pretty good here for a nighttime uh, temperature 55. And then we go back up to about 80 degrees on uh, Saturday, and then those temperatures a little bit more jostling around with the modeling here and then so forth. But uh, the coolest night coming, definitely Sunday night, Monday morning, where temperatures could be in that 40 to 45 degree realm. That's our little taste of autumn. Not much of it because we warm right back up again. And then we see another uh, kind of an oscillation or roller coaster ride a little bit later on down the road. Current tropical systems we're watching. Nothing of uh, any great shakes there, about 10%, very disorganized. And uh, this one east of the Lesser Antilles has a little bit better chance. Latest guidance uh, seems to take it sort of toward the Bahamas, and it could be something we'll have to watch and potentially either affect Florida or curl up the coast. Right now, way too soon to say. This will be down around the corner a few days out. That's it from here. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights.